Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Chop Strand Audio. Thanks for tuning in. This is video number 42 in my Roland TLS video tutorial series. And this time I want to show you quickly how to delete your kit and your pattern to create a blank template. So you don't have to cope with different parameters, different instruments, settings and all this when you um, have an idea and you just want to um, quickly um, implement kind of idea into your TLS. So let's have a look. So the first thing what we um, want to do here is like um, you, uh, we have to choose our kit and our pattern um, to create our blank kit and blank pattern. So you have to make sure when you press kit, um, you, you, you don't have anything really important on your kit you choose. Like say, I would like to choose 101 my blank kit and then um, when you go to pattern you have to choose your pattern and in my case it is 8-01 so this is what I want to um, like erase okay so the next thing is um, you actually have to delete your pattern your instruments your variations um, then um, make sure all your knobs and faders are in a good position and then we go through all the way Okay, so first um, you have to uh, delete your pattern. That means you have to press pattern select and then press down clear, hold down and then go all the way through and delete your um, pattern. And you see in the display it shows pattern cleared. So we go all the way through. This is cleared. Now we have cleared our patterns. So now the next thing is we want to clear our variations. We, we, we do the same. We just hold down clear and go through all our variations A to H. Cleared, 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 all cleared, all cleared. So this is good. So now we have to clear our um, instruments. We do the same. Press and hold down clear and go through from bass drum until right Cymbal. Uh, right, symbol. So this is it. Okay, this is all cleared now. Now um, I would like to have all my faders up here and uh, we just make sure our CTL knobs are um, at off or you can choose what you want. I like to have it like this. Press and hold down CTL select and turn your CTL knob all the way to the left anti-clockwise to off and go through all your different um, instruments or tracks. So now our decay, I would like to have the decay all the way up just to hear an instrument. And then the tune, I would like to have the tune in the middle, kind of in the middle. Um, this is good enough. So the next thing is make sure um, accent level zero, reverb zero, delay levels all at zero. So master FX is at zero, but we have to uh, make sure there's nothing applied as well. So we just have to press and hold down shift and press the on button for master FX. And then when you use the value knob here, you will go through until you find um, def, uh, def, def, yeah. And DEP is at zero, so that means there is no uh, master FX applied, which is good. So the next thing is um, we have to um, delete all our instrument manually. So this is really like um, not good from Roland. Um, yeah, but you have to do it once. And then once you save your kit and pattern like this, you have an empty kit. And then you just do it once and then that's it. Okay, first we start with our bass drum. Select bass drum, press and hold down shift and press instrument. Now you see um, FX is through, we can leave it like this. LFO depth is at um, zero. Tune, delay send is zero. Reverb send is zero, pan is center. Gain, I like it to have it at zero. We can adjust this later anyways. Level, attack, this is decay all the way up this is good the tune knob yeah this is fine 
So that's it. So what I like to do now is just to go back and then we copy our um, bass drum all the way through. Okay, to do this, press and hold down copy, select bass drum, and you see in the display where you want to copy it. We want to copy it to our snare drum. And now the snare drum is the same like our bass drum, but not completely. So now we go through snare drum to low tom, low tom to mid tom, mid tom to high tom, high tom to RS, RS to HC, and all the way through. So that's it. Now we have to manually go through our instrument. We did already our bass drum. Now we selected our snare drum, press and hold down shift, press instrument, go through and make sure your delay sends are off. So you can press and hold down shift and then turn the value knob, it brings you uh, much faster through. That's it, enter, reverse sends the same. All the way, okay, center, gain, level, this is all good. So we can turn this to zero as well. Decay, set maximum, no, it's not. Tune, yeah, this is fine. Okay, so this is our um, snare drum. So, um, and then you have to go through actually all the way to do the same with all your other um, instruments. Yeah, so, and then you have actually basically like a kind of um, clear kit with no effects, no LFO applied. And yeah, so, and the next thing is you go into your um, pattern menu. To do this, <coughs> press and hold down shift and press pattern select. Now you're in the pattern menu. So go through with the value knob. So number 110, tempo, you can choose it. Scale, 16, shuffle is at zero, which is good. Flam, yeah, when you want to, uh, when you like it to change it, just um, change it. You can rename it, you can rename it as like, um, um, clear pattern or whatever, or CPTN1 or whatever. And then you know your um, pattern um, is the clean one. Okay, when you finish this, just press enter. Oh, sorry, just press any, any other button and then exit this menu. Now you have to go into the kit menu. Press and hold down shift and press kit. Go through and change it like you want. Like reverb settings, delay settings, and everything else. So in my case, I just leave it here like it is because otherwise it just the video will take too long. So output, mute, CTRL, and the color, you can change the color and also, and at the end, you see the name again, you can rename it and um, the same like with a pattern, you can name it like a clear, clear kit when you want. Okay, so now we are done. Now the next thing is just really important just to override your um, whole thing, what you just did, just, yeah. So just press and hold down shift and press right. Now the TSS asks you okay or cancel, just choose okay and press enter. Now everything is overwritten, which is good. This is really important. You do you have to do it really often. So what you can do, you already did it, but you can um, write your um, pattern as well. And you can write your kit as well. But you already overwritten everything, so this is done. So now you have basically a kind of clean, um, nice um, kit and pattern where you can um, load your instruments. So there are no zero instruments like to choose, like let's say there's always something choose when you choose an instrument, um, but you have to choose it anyway when you want to create a new track or a new song, whatever. 
So yeah, this is basically it. Just um, this is the way how I do it. And I like it to have like a blank kit, a blank pattern. And then I don't have to cope, as I said, um, with um, different FX and I have to turn everything down and all the, all the other stuff. Another mes method would be like for our um, instruments. Um, you can use the mixer mode to turn down the, um, the um, decay and the reverb send and the um, delay send when you want. Just um, press and hold down shift and press CTL select. And then you're in the mixer mode and you see bass drum, the first. And when you use the value knob and go through, you see actually like kind of visually, okay, this is the tune for all your different tracks or instruments. And the same with decay is all the way up. It's a good way to check it quickly. Okay, we see like, oh yeah, we have all the reverb sounds still up because we only did the first two ones. So yes, this is fine. So yeah, you can change it here as well. It it's might be quicker than changing it direct through the instrument menu with shift and instrument, but it's up to you how to do it. So yeah, that's basically it. Just try it out and um, enjoy your Roland DRS. Then thanks for watching and have a good day. See you later.